So hello people, how you going today? And today I have some coins from South Vietnam. Now, if you're not sure where South Vietnam is, it's actually the southern part of current Vietnam. And this country was uh, separated from the north, the north between 19, ooh, 1945 and 1975. With, uh, initially it was um, a kingdom, but in uh, the 50s, 1955, it became a republic. It was supposed to have a referendum on what type of government it should have with the North, but that didn't take place. And now we get on to the period where we had the Vietnam War with, uh, from about 1955 to 75. American troops getting involved in the 60s to 1973, then they withdrew. And the capital Saigon eventually fell in 1975. I think the 30th of April 1975. So we have coins issued under the French uh, mandate. So this was still part of French Indochina at the time. And the French were actually defeated in 1954 and I think it's Dien Bien Phu in northern Vietnam. In which after that time they decided to get the hell out of there. So 1953 these coins were minted. There's actually a 50 Su, but I do not have that coin. So we have 10, 20, 50, 1 dong, another 1 dong, 5 dong, 10 dong, and 20 dong. So if you see movies, you or Vietnam War movies, they use the term piasta for the South Vietnamese currency usually. And that's in reference to the currency of French Indochina, which actually was piasta, it was 100 centimeters. So on the first 10 and 20 Two coins we have a uh, wheat on this side. Is it wheat? Let me have a look. I oh, know, sorry, it is rice because rice is the main crop of the southern Vietnam because it's tropical and wheat doesn't like those conditions. And on the other side, we have three Vietnamese ladies and the same with the 20. Beautiful coins, very attractive and worth getting. Now, the 50 Su has uh, bamboo on it, so it's pretty much the same as the Wan Dong. And the Wan Dong and 50 Su initially first uh, minted in 1960, and this is the 1963 coin. On the back, or oh, this will be the obverse actually, yeah. that's Wong Ding Diem, and he was president. Until 1964 when he was overthrown and murdered. So that was a pretty um, bloody uprising that got rid of him. So now after he was overthrown, Vietnam had um, just general coinage with uh, just the denomination. He has Vietnam Kong Hoa, which just means Viet Republic of Vietnam. And it also has, oh, sorry, a bit tired. Nang Hang Quoc Gi Vietnam, and that just means uh, the National Bank of Vietnam, because that is the bank that issued the currency. So on the back of the one five and ten dong, we just have rice again, the same as it was on the, this coin here. The twenty dong. If we have a look, it actually has uh, a person working in uh, the rice fields. And this coin here is actually the commemorative 20 dong, because there was actually two 20 dongs issued uh, for this year. And this lettering around here just re means uh, we'll campaign against hunger. So this is an FAO series, which 
a lot of countries actually do produce and this one has a mintage of 500,000 so it's the lowest minted Viet South Vietnamese coin there is uh, the other mintage figures are for it was like 20 million of this one, 15 million this uh, 50 dong had um, I didn't write that down probably at least 10 million this one dong had 105 million the this type of one dong had three issues so 1964 uh, this one is 1971 so 64 had 190 million this 1971 had 8 million so it's the lowest minted one dong coin it's actually nickel plate clad steel and you can tell but by the uh, blackness, so the steel is actually um, degraded. The five dong was issued in 1966, and it also had an issue in 1971. So in 66 had 100 million coin, 71 had um, 15 million. The ten dong was issued in 1964. So it's curious that this was issued in 1964. The five was issued in 1966, so between 64 and 66, there was no five dong. They would have used the banknotes as well. Um, this one is in copper nickel. Uh, so after 1968, all the coins were issued in uh, nickel plated steel. And the 1964 issue had 64 million to 68 coin had um, 30 million the 1970 which is this one had uh, 50 million coins and you can tell it's uh, has steel in it because it is actually oxidized the 1974 had 30 million and this was actually the last coin issued under the Republic of Vietnam for circulation and it is uh, brass plated steel as you can see it's not bad and the inscription on this means increase in food production of agricultural produce and it has two people also working in the rice field and the other 20 dong had about 14 and a half million coins and that just had the inscription uh, same as this coin here so those are the coins of South Vietnam now there was actually a 50 dong which is uh, similar in size to the 10 dong but that was not released for circulation and it's presumed most of those were melted in 1975 and that one is dated 1975 and the mintage figures for that is 1,010,000 coins. But that's a very expensive coin, so that's why I do not have it here. So, the coins of South Vietnam. Beautiful series. Actually, one of the series I'm actually working on getting now. I'm trying to get them all in high grades like this one. So, thank you very much for watching. If you like Vietnamese coins, please give this video a thumbs up. And have an awesome coin collecting day.